Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis, and this is part four of our Linux Monitoring Edition with Zabbix. And if you remember from our last discussion in Zabbix Monitoring, I mentioned you that we will be adding some devices, and therefore uh, my first uh, goal is to add a Cisco router, uh, sorry, a Cisco switch, rather. Uh, to this Zabbix uh, server for man monitoring and but the thing is uh, before we do this we uh, need to be familiar with SNMP uh, because Zabbix how it works it works in two ways uh, basically uh, first is it monitor the devices which are SNMP enabled uh, SNMP stand for basically simple network management protocol and by the name, uh, this protocol is used to monitor devices, okay? So the main thing is, the other thing is the agent on the server agent base, like you install uh, agents or the soft part of software uh, on the devices or computers such as Linux uh, servers or Windows servers, uh, like agents uh, from Zabbix and then it uh, Zabbix server monitors uh, these devices based on that agent so there are two uh, main things how Zabbix basically monitors it's by the agent and by the SNMP protocol okay but uh, because SNMP is uh, very uh, you can say not understood well um, I have a very basic tutorial for it uh, like basic SNMP um, so this is how I actually understood uh, SNMP and that's why I, I just want to show you guys it's it's very simple it's very easy and that's uh, what I want to do so this fourth part is going to be SNMP basics okay so in uh, the reason I want to show you is that when in future when we are going to configure this device it will be very easy for you to understand okay okay so uh, therefore I have this uh, Cisco switch which I have already configured Okay, and in this terminal, I'm going to log in uh, with SSH. Okay, on my Cisco switch, I guess it's 1.20. Yeah, okay. So, here's the switch, okay and if uh, you can check it that it's a cisco c2960 switch okay okay good enough so let's quit okay now what i want to show you is how to enable a cisco switch for this um, snmp monitoring okay all you need to do is you need to add this a command or let me show you that show run here so this is the command you are going to type like snmp server and uh, basically this snmp server community this is the string salman 121 and rw stands for read write this is what you need to enable on this uh, like type this command on the switch that's it and it will automatically take care of version 1 and version 2 okay first thing is done we have enabled our Cisco switch for SNMP okay now the second thing is we need to install net SNMP tools in our uh, Linux box here I have uh, using SUSE Linux you can see okay so actually uh, last time my system crashed, I was installing GNS3 in my SUSE machine and it just got conflicted with some other software. So that's why I have to, you can see that the look is different of my background like desktop. So this is basically Tumbleweed installed. Okay, so on Linux, make sure you have net SNMP tools. Okay, so RPM, query all grab net snmp will reveal that i'm using i have this net snmp tools so the reason is that uh, this net snmp tools have 
SNMP get SNMP walk and SNMP translate uh, utilities or the packages so the main idea behind this is that once you install this net SNMP it will give you all the required packages to confirm or work with the SNMP okay so first thing what I'm going to show you is how to walk an SNMP device okay and then I will show you what is OID and what is MIB okay to walk uh, we will use it's a very simple SNMP walk okay hyphen version 2c and the community string is Salman one to one and then the IP address okay basically walk is like it's it's this is the utility which is going to um, contact with the SNMP device okay which has this string this is string or the password you many people by default it's public so I have changed it uh, public and some people use it private okay and this is going to tell that this the version is to we are using and this is the IP address of that SNMP device okay when I press enter you will see a lot of information okay And you can see that lots of MIB and then there is like if upper status if last change so I'll just um, explain you this in a while so okay let me control C to cancel this okay now the main thing is you will see uh, there are two things one is OID okay which is object identifier okay and the other thing is uh, MIB okay so basically what are these things uh, they are um, you can say the identity or for example of an object OID is identity of an object okay and MIB is uh, you can say the readable name okay and OID is the machine readable name okay so let me show you what I mean if I for example let's say I just want to get information what is the uh, status of my switch okay I'll just use this Or let's say I want to check this uh, uptime of my switch so if I know these few commands I'll use SNMP get same thing instead of walk we will use SNMP get and then I will mention here what was that So this is the MIB as I told you that it's human readable OIDs are machine readable I'll just show you that okay and you can see that it gives me the uh, like direct information about the switch up time okay the same way if I want to check how many numbers uh, my switch have the number of ports okay so I will use this if number basically here you go I don't have to type this if dash MIB I, I can just do it directly okay Here. 
and it will give okay what about information about the 20 uh, or the first port because it starts from zero let's uh, let's check the um, the bandwidth or the number of packets uh, going out of our port number uh, 24 okay and to check that I'll use if out octets octets means the packets basically and out of uh, port number let's say 24 and it does not exist okay 20 that checks zero yeah so I can see that why it's giving uh, like no information because there's only one cable connected to this uh, the port and which is connected to port one actually of my switch so and if I want to check the incoming uh, packet so I'll just write in and it will give me information and you can see that the packets will change it is 151910 180 and it's counting upwards okay and the outgoing packets are also changing so okay so this is how you get the information about the bandwidth about this uh, switch uh, port what about the operation or uh, operative status of this port? So if I use if upper status one. So S should be capital and it's showing up. Okay. In some switches it will, uh, if the port is not connected, it will show you down. But here it's not showing me anything. It's just not giving me any uh, information okay so this is a very important thing which you have to understand about snmp okay now let's uh, translate this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to you can also check with this oids and uh, this information this is uh, i'm checking with uh, mib uh, okay okay so to check or translate this Let's use this SN, SNMP translate. Okay, this time I have to mention if dash mib. Okay. Yeah. sorry dash o n will work yeah here so you can see that it's translated to the machine readable and if you copy this thing and post it here like paste it here it is going to give you the same information okay so that is the main difference between MIB you can see that it's human readable and the OIDs or object identifiers are machine readable we can translate the MIBs of various things for example translate what about out bandwidth going out of uh, port 1 okay this is just to prove, just to prove, okay, so let's check this if it works. So the counter is 32, 58084, and what if I just change it? Of course, it will be different, but so it gives you the same result. So this is some basics of SNMP and how it works. And now, when now as we have this understanding of how to 
uh, basically work with this simple SNMP get, SNMP translate, and SNMP uh, walk. Now we will be able to uh, set up our uh, graph and add our SNMP device to our Zabbix monitoring server. So thank you for watching and hope to see you soon in next video. Till then, goodbye.